The re-release Kyosho Optima Mid, arguably one of the nicest, most iconic four-wheel drive buggies to come out of the 1980s. Today on Poor Boys RC, we're gonna do a quick unboxing of this video, show you guys what you get in this box when you purchase one of these kits, which are still available by the way, and then we'll just do a nice little time-lapse build where you guys can watch me put this thing together. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to throw them down in the comment section below. Always happy to get back to all of you guys. You can check out Eliminator RC and use coupon code POORBOYSRC to get 15 bucks off one of your very own. Optima mids. And if you're enjoying today's video, guys, please give a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm really trying to get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year, so only got a few months left to go. So if you guys hit that sub button, that would mean a ton. Thank you all so much for watching. Let's check it out. The Kyosho Optima Mid, the 10th model in the Kyosho Vintage series. The popular four-wheel drive buggy that made a brilliant world championship debut has been updated in modern style. Recreation of the model that dominated the electric racing buggy scene in the 1980s, updated to match modern RC electronics and power systems. Belt drive four-wheel drive system delivers excellent drive efficiency and stability, even on roads with low grip. Demonstrates superior driving performance on modern circuits. Blister packaging replicates the original packaging style to recreate the same satisfying experience. Wide range of optional parts are available for tuning and upgrades. More than just a recreation of the 1980s original, this model can be enjoyed like any other high performance modern equivalent. The 6061 T6 aluminum alloy main chassis achieves an excellent balance between rigidity and crash resistance and uses hex screws with the countersunk holes for a flat underside of the chassis. The front and rear shock stays have been updated from the original aluminum to FRP, similar to the Turbo Optima mid specs. Stabilizer end mounting holes have been added to the front suspension arms. The quality of the material has been optimized for increased strength and driving stability. The quality of the material has been optimized for increased strength and driving stability. As the name suggests, the layout allows for midship motor mount and driving performance optimized by centrally locating heavy components on the chassis. 48 pitch spur gear is equipped with a slipper clutch that protects the gear from shocks while driving. Belt tension can be adjusted through the newly equipped belt tensioner. Combined with new low friction belt, improves driving efficiency and reduces power loss. Required for operation, you will need a two channel RC system, a steering servo and a speed controller, a 540 sized motor, brushed or brushless, 7.2 volt nickel metal hydride battery or 7.4 volt LiPo, a charger for your battery, tools for painting, batteries for the transmitter, and assembly tools. The founding father of the modern racing buggy's lightning quick world championship debut machine returns. The Optima Mid is remembered for its brilliant debut at the second World Electronic Off-Road Car Championships in England in 1987, where the prototype occupied five out of the 10 qualifiers in the A-Main final and finished in second place. 
Optima's chassis layout with midship motor position and undercarriage grew in popularity and became the foundation for modern racing buggies. It is this Optima Mid that will be reproduced as the 10th model in the Kyosho Vintage series. The recreated Optima Mid also features adjustable belt tension using a tensioner not available at the time, ultimately achieving a smooth drive with minimal loss. Furthermore, equipment from the Turbo Optima Mid, such as the FRP front and rear shock stays and countersunk main chassis, have also been incorporated into this model. The racy form of the original Optima Mid body is faithfully reproduced in line with the popular vintage series. Experience the spirit of driving the Optima Mid incorporating the state-of-the-art mechanics from the past that cannot be matched by anything today. Equipped with gold anodized oil shocks that resemble the pressure shocks that dominated the era, dial adjustment allows for easy vehicle height tuning for precision chassis setting. The belt cover has been updated from previous vacuum form part to a molded resin part that effectively protects the drive belt from dust and dirt. The new belt cover is easier to assemble and provides more complete protection from dust. 50mm one-piece wheels replicate the original design and, and include the same tires as the Turbo Optima for excellent grip. Includes a 48-pitch 82-tooth spur gear, 78-tooth 82 spur gear can be used as an option. Equipped with reinforced slipper clutch to support powerful brushless motors, by using the optional dual slipper set, part number UM516, more detailed settings are possible. Battery holder is compatible with various battery types, equipped with motor wire guide for neat wiring. Reinforced nylon rear wing shared with the Javelin balances flexibility and strength. The setting can be changed by adjusting the mounting angle and height in three steps, as well as the front back position in two steps. There it is guys, it is complete and I am loving how this thing looks. Check that out. Overall guys, this build went really nice. I will say this, the instructions are good. They're not as good as a Tamiya instruction. I got, I think I'm getting spoiled building so many Tamiya kits lately. Uh, the instructions on a Tamiya are just so much better. Um, the best of the best that I've ever seen, but uh, easy enough to follow, just take your time with the instructions. You will need some crazy glue. You will need some thread lock if you're gonna buy one of these kits and build it. So just a heads up on that, to stock up on that stuff before you get started. And other than that, guys, the build went together really nice. Super silky smooth. My uh, my only complaint is there's not a ton of room to place your ESC, and there's not a lot of room for wiring. So you're gonna have to spend a little bit of time getting all your wires tucked away nicely so everything fits and the body doesn't kind of sit wonky. So this is a beautiful four wheel drive beach buggy. I can't wait to get it out and get a running video for you guys. And these things are still available. Check out Eliminator RC, www.e-rc.ca. You can use coupon code poorboysrc for 15 bucks off your order of hundred bucks or more, which is fantastic. And they still have these things in stock. So if you wanna get one, it's not too late. As always, thank you guys all so much for watching. Please give a thumbs up if you haven't already. Subscribe if you haven't. Again, 70% of people watching my show haven't hit that subscribe button. If you do, it would mean a ton. If we hit a million subscribers by the end of the year, everyone gets a Ferrari. How about that? <laughs> all right, guys, have an awesome day. Be excellent to each other.